Well, it's not a bad morning to to come out here and fish. It's pretty cold. We're in the 40s right now, and the water temperature is what do we got? Uh, let's see. Oh wow, water temperature is only 49, so we're still hanging in there. Let me just be quiet and get out on the water. I re I'm really lost for words right now. Not much to say, just wanting to get into some action and uh, looking forward to, to doing that here in a couple of minutes. If I do manage to hook into a fish in cold weather like this, that's just gonna be a plus. So if all my years of experience in bass fishing has taught me anything, it's that when you start fishing cold weather, just be prepared to grind it out. But when you do get a hit, hold on, because chances are it's gonna be a good one. Oh gosh, yes, man, keeping the faith, I'm telling you what. I hope this is gonna be a good one. Oh, oh yes. Get back over here. Oh, it looks big, whatever it is. Oh gosh, it's got a lot of flash. That's a big trout. Actually, it's a red. It's not a trout. What is a redfish cruising over here? I thought that was a trout. My gosh, my heart is starting to pump so fast. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come on. Oh. I was just thinking, like... Man, if that is a trout, the way it just pulled, that is gonna be awesome. Juvenile red that we got right here. Wow, it's, I mean, I've been grinding it with no signs of life at all. And just with the persistence, so glad that these guys are still out here cruising these grass flats. And there's really not even much grass to, to even fish because I mean, it's just bare bottom. Uh, there has been some grass out here before in the summertime, but now it's next to nothing. <sighs> this beautiful red. <laughs> oh man, such a pretty guy, probably 18 inches. Let's see what we're working with. Whoa, 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 chill. Don't jump, I just I just wanna see how big you are. Come on, just chill. Lay that tail down. There you go. 18 and three quarters. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, there you go. I tell you what, you gotta love a fish like this right here. Thinking that I was gonna come out here and get skunked and it was gonna be all for nothing. No signs of life. I'm not marking anything, not even bait fish on the Lorance. Something just came and boiled up over there. <sighs> He's got a lot of bottom end, that's for sure. Oh. Tighten down the drag just a little bit because I'm not gaining anything on this guy. It's a red, not bad. It's a nice size red too. Oh my gosh. 
The guy was a dead giveaway. All right, let's get the net. Oh. It got hot, I had to take off the jacket. Then I saw this guy come up and just boil. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, let's hurry up and put our life jacket back on. I had to hurry up and cast over there to it. Came up to the top. Just a dead giveaway. Let that lure sink all the way down to the bottom. Sure enough, he was still there. Thumped it. I was like, that was too easy. Oh my gosh. Let's get the lure out of his mouth now. That's a beautiful red. Stuck him right at the top of the mouth. Went through and through. All right. Let me get the boga. Unhook him really fast. See how big he is. Man, these, these conditions are super tough out here today. Fishing in the cold weather, man. It does, it's not easy, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. There we are. Got that out. Oh my gosh, everything is just getting rusted. Every bit of my equipment. They say they're supposed to be stainless and nickel this and coated and yeah, right. Let's put them back inside the water for right now. Here we go. Getting the board, gonna see how big he is. He looks to be like maybe 22 inches. Chill out, bro. Come on, relax. The sooner you relax, the sooner we get you back inside the water. Possibly. Elijah said he wants to start keeping fish. 21 and a quarter. Oh, man. Awesome. Look at this beautiful redfish right there. 21 and a quarter inches long. Made the slot. Buddy, if my son did not want to keep fish, uh, you would go back in the water, but I'm sorry, bro. Let's put you on the stringer. Oh, it feels so good to just be able to catch fish on a very slow and cold day like this. I am grateful because it's always hit or miss. It doesn't matter what kind of day you had yesterday, the very next day complete, could be completely different. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got him. Nice thump. Oh, that's a nice flatty. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. He's coming straight at me. All right, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got it. Yes. Oh, that's a great keeper flatty right there for you. I don't want to say it, but the bite may be starting. Keeper red, a keeper flatty. It's gonna be a good day. All right. Nice thump too, solid thump. There we go. Get our lure back. Get that out of his throat. <sighs> Pull in some double duty. Every fish that I got today, this guy so my eyes were bigger than what I thought. Uh, he doesn't look like he's gonna be, I mean, he's probably gonna be a tad bit over 14. We'll check just in case. Here we go. 
Let's see how big this guy is. Ah, oh, 15 and a half inches. That's a, uh, that's a keeper for sure. Got some decent fillets on it. We'll throw them on a stringer. Here's what I'm doing. There's a channel right over here off to my left. It leads straight into Lake Como and that's where I just caught that red and the flatty. Um, all I'm doing is standing up and paddling myself around, just trying to stay at the edge of it, cast towards the middle, bouncing this swimming jack off the bottom, just back and forth off the bottom. And it's a weedless hook for the most part. Um, there are fish down there. I'm marking them on the Lowrance and it's just a matter of fishing super slow. So it's kind of like bass fishing uh, to me where you've got to slow everything down and you got to work to get that bite because if you fish entirely too fast or you're impatient then you're not going to get anything i mean you might and just call it luck because uh, i caught one uh, the red earlier today that was just sheer luck fan casting in the open water and managed to pull one up but for the most part slow it down find the deep water slow it down and Chances are you're gonna hook into some. See, we can get one more and then we'll head out of here because I think I'm done for the day, but I wanna try to get one more. If I can get a trout, get that slam, that'd be awesome. just like that he's off before I end the video I want to leave y'all with a little bit of advice uh, if you're coming out here fishing during the winter time uh, it, the water is really cold it climbed from 48 degrees all the way up to about 56 but that's still cold if you were to have an unfortunate accident and take a dip inside this thing uh, hypothermia is gonna set in like with the quickness so do yourself a favor do not come out here unless you've got the proper like cold weather gear if you get wet and you don't have a change of clothes or something that's just going to keep you dry rest assured something bad is going to happen so all right with that being said that's all i've got for y'all i really appreciate the support and watching the videos until next time tight lines everyone <laughs>